Welcome back to Solon's customer video series. The focus of this video is double valve pump operation. When setting up a double valve pump using a Solon's wellhead, first connect the air source supply line to the electronic control unit. Then connect the drive line from the control unit to the fitting on the wellhead. The sample line connects to the other fitting on the wellhead. The electronic control unit is preset with drive vent times. When the pump is placed at depth in the well, Water from the formation slowly flows through the screen inlet at the bottom of the pump. Hydrostatic pressure fills the pump body, central riser pipe, and both the sample and drive lines to static water level. The control unit at surface starts with the drive cycle, applying pressure to the system through the drive line. This closes the bottom check valve, preventing water from exiting the pump. As you can see, the orange arrows represent the drive gas closing the bottom check valve. At the same time, the gas pressure pushes down on the water in the drive line, circulating it through the pump and up the central riser to the sample line. The applied pressure should not be high enough to allow drive gas into the pump body. Next, the electronic control unit at surface switches to vent. The drive gas is vented out of the drive line at the wellhead. During the vent cycle, the upper check valve closes, preventing water from draining back down the sample line. Hydrostatic pressure begins to refill the pump body as the bottom check valve releases. New formation water slowly enters the pump through the filter inlet and refills the pump body and drive line to static water level. The electronic control unit automatically repeats the drive and vent cycles, eventually bringing the sample water to surface. Let's watch the control unit run a drive vent cycle at the low flow preset. With a drive time of 50 seconds, the drive gas closes the bottom check valve and water cycles through the pump body and up the riser to the sample line. During the vent period of 25 seconds, the drive gas immediately vents out at the wellhead and the upper check valve closes and new formation water enters the pump body and drive line. Now, let's take a much closer look at how the check valve operates in the double valve pump. Also, keep an eye on the water levels in the drive and sample line. When the pump is submerged, water enters through the filter intake forcing both the bottom and upper check valves open as water flows upwards and past, filling the pump body, riser, and both drive and sample lines. During the drive cycle, pressure forces the bottom check valve downwards, sealing the pump and forcing water from the pump body into the riser, past the upper check valve and up the sample line. During the vent cycle, the upper check valve closes. As water enters the pump, the bottom check valve opens and water enters the pump body. The upper check valve remains closed, forcing water into the pump body and up the drive line. During the next drive cycle, the bottom check valve closes and water from the pump body is forced into the riser, releasing the upper check valve as water moves upwards and past to the sample line. And finally, another vent cycle. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact us with any questions or comments.